Christopher Otero Rivera and his father Angel sat in the court in orange jumpsuits two weeks from the scheduled start of their trial for the murder of Otero Rivera's estranged wife, Nicole Montalvo. But they heard testimony from the first witness in the case, an Osceola County forensics technician who searched the Rivera's properties for evidence. There were a lot of holes dug on the property. She testified and it was recorded now because she might not be able to do so in person during the trial. The prosecutor asked her what was found on the Rivera's properties. What was found when you were present? Um, pieces of tissue and bone, as well as a skull and hands and feet. Remains of Nicole Montalvo that investigators say were dismembered and buried to conceal her murder. In a separate court document, prosecutors also laid out the conspiracy they claim the Rivera's were involved in, including allegedly paying the bond for a jail inmate to get out, then offering him money to make Montalvo, quote, disappear. After Montalvo was killed, they say Angel Rivera drove her phone to Kissimmee and sent a false text from her phone to himself to make it look like she was still alive. And they say he allegedly used an appointment with Otero Rivera's probation officer as pretext to leave their home and get rid of Montalvo's car in Kissimmee. And that recording that was made today will be played for jurors if that witness, in fact, is not able to testify in person during the actual trial. And that trial, we should say, is set to start on April 5th. Reporting live at the Osceola County Courthouse, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.